praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into wherever you may be to share the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And remember, Jesus loves you and he definitely wants the best for all of us. And we thank God for his mercy and his grace and how he empowers and equips us as we continue to trust the Lord wholeheartedly. I want to take a moment to thank all of our the people who pray with us, our the ones who are partners with us in our ministry, the ones who continue to sow into this good ground. We are so grateful for all of you and we don't take you for granted. We continue to pray for you that this video will, will continue to bless your life. It will be with power and equip you and help you just to give you a small bit piece of what God wants for your life. Today, I want to come to you from the book of Proverbs chapter three, verse five and verse six. The book of Proverbs chapter three, verse five and verse six. And it reads as follows, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. I want to read another scripture we will go to in just a moment and to give us emphasis on our topic for the day. It reads in Proverbs chapter one and verse three, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. Notice what uh, Solomon said here in this particular proverb, to receive the instruction of wisdom, to receive the instruction of wisdom, along with justice, judgment, and equity. But of course, we're focusing in this day on wisdom. Based on what I've just spoke to you, I want to talk to you for a few minutes on this topic. Trusting the Lord wholeheartedly, and he will give you wisdom for your life. Trusting the Lord wholeheartedly, and he will give you wisdom for your life. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for these precious believers, those who are trusting you to the best of their ability, God, trusting you wholeheartedly. So in turn, we ask you to give them wisdom for their life, wisdom for their finances, wisdom for their careers, wisdom for the relationships, wisdom for the decision-making, wisdom in every aspect of their life. Father, we don't, we don't want just any wisdom. We want wisdom that comes from God. We want godly wisdom because we know you got the power to cause your wisdom to come to pass. You got the strength. You got the ability. God, you are all knowing God that knows everything. And Father, we believe in you, Jesus, and we thank you for allowing us to share your word with these precious believers. And I pray, I touch and agree with each and every one of them that your will will be done in their life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And thank you, Lord. You know, when we talk about Proverbs chapter three and verse five, it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust means to rely on, to place confidence in. Notice this, in the Lord, in the Lord with all your heart. And I like this, and lean not on your own understanding. Don't find security, don't find support, don't find rest on, on your own understanding. Not to say that our understanding is not viable, but don't rely on that more than you rely on the on what we do, what God does and what he says and his promises for our lives. Solomon's found, sound instructions found in this particular verse helps us to better operate in Proverbs chapter three and verse six. See, when you trust the Lord, and you have confidence in him, you have no problem in acknowledging him in all your ways, in recognizing him, seeking him, understanding what his will is for the situation, discerning what does God want me to do here for my life, how do I do it, what manner I do it in, the timing I do it in. Notice how all of these things go into a decision when we learn how to trust in the Lord always and then when we acknowledge him, he is going to direct. He's going to make smooth and make straight our paths. I love that about God because we understand that God has, listen, the best, he has our best interests at heart. 
And when you acknowledge him, he is going to direct your path if you allow him. And I know that many of you, sometimes we mess that up, but I know many of you have gotten it right many times and you're just learning how to operate in that. To let him direct your path, let him make them paths smooth, let him make them straight. No doubt there are benefits when, it's, when we intentionally acknowledge Jesus daily to find the will of God for our lives. Not just acknowledge him when it's convenient, but being on a daily basis, acknowledging Jesus and allowing him to direct our paths. And then, and then as he directs it, we know God's best interest is going to be at hand. One of the things we need to understand, when he says he's going to make our path smooth and make it straight, we need to understand his idea of smooth and straight may not be at first. Because remember that he can say something like this, take up your cross and follow me. See, that is God making your path straight and making it smooth. In other words, you're not relying on what's going on in your life, but you're relying on the direction of God for your life. Whether it's your relationship, whether it's a business decision, whatever it is, you're saying, hey, I'm relying on you, God. And I know sometimes even when you go make my path straight, it's not always going to look straight. It's not always going to sound straight. It's not always going to feel straight. But you know, you got, listen, I know God. We know that God has our best interests at heart. We know that sometimes in life, uh, the road can get rough. It can get bumpy. And sometimes it might feel like we're losing control. But God promised to direct our path and smooth out our lives. But we understand that God's idea of smooth and our idea of smooth may be different. But you know, he said, that's why you don't lean on your own understanding. That's why you don't go by what you think. Sometimes God will tell you to let certain things go. So in turn, it can make your path straight. You remember Jonah was going out. He said, you know what? I'm going to do my own thing. And he went another way and got caught up with a fish. And long story kind of short, he went back and preached the gospel. But you know what? It, it worked out for God's good. It worked out for Jonah's good. That's why we know all things are working together for our good because we love God and we're called according to his purpose. Listen, trust the process. I know, hey, I'm with you, I'm with you my sister and my brother. I don't always like the process neither. But we realize when we trust God, it's going to work out for our good. It's going to work out for our good. And remember, God's, listen, the promise comes with the wisdom of God and able to be successful and happy in our careers, our families, our school, our church, and so forth. I believe that as we learn how to acknowledge God, we can better receive his instructions, which will help guide us in life's decision. Listen, I, I believe truly without a shadow of a doubt, we need help with life decision. We can't depend on the government. We can't depend on social media. I don't know about you, but have you ever gotten advice sometime? You like, and it's left you scratching your head. You are more confused than when you first talked to that person. But it, and when you go to God, you may not always agree with him, but you know, by the time you finish meditating on his word, meditating on his direction, you know, hey, that's the best path for me. I, it's, it, it's, this is the best way for me. I'm trusting God with the direction for my life. Listen, I'm trusting God with the direction for my relationship. I'm trusting God that he knows when it's best for me to get married. He knows I'm trusting God when it's best for me to get that promotion. I'm trusting God when he wants me to cancel all these debts in my life. I have no problem with him canceling my debt, but I got to trust his process. Glory be to God. Get this excited. Let me go on to the next scripture here. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 3. When Solomon started out this particular book, I want you to notice a scripture that he put in Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 3. He says this. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. Wow. Watch this. To receive the instructions. To receive means to seize, to lay hold, to acquire. What? The instructions. Notice what's happening here. And, uh, the instructions means the direction, the correction, the discipline, that comes from what? We're going to talk about one today, wisdom. Wisdom is giving out instructions, but it's up to us 
to lay hold of it, to acquire it, to seize it. See, God will be giving us, and he's given us wisdom. He's given us instruction. He's given us discipline. He's showing us what we need to do in our life. This is what Solomon was bringing forth to me in Proverbs chapter one and verse three. He wanted the readers to take advantage of what God was giving. If any of you ask God, at need wisdom, let him ask of God who give it to all men liberty and uphold it, a braid of not. One thing you need to understand, God is giving wisdom. He gives wisdom through his word. He gives wisdom to his preacher. He gives wisdom to his pastor. Notice this in Jeremiah 3 and 15. God will give you pastors after his own heart. He will feed you with knowledge and understanding. When you have an anointed pastor, they should be feeding you with knowledge and understanding. I have an obligation to my church to feed them knowledge and understanding. Not what I think they should hear. I've got to go about what God is. I believe that God is put into my spirit to share with the people when I when we meet with them. That to me will help them with their life decision. When they get on a job and they want to act a certain way, something I should have said should minister to them and, and give them a revelation as to what to do in this life situation. When they're in a situation where they got to make a major decision Without them coming to me, they need to be able to go to God based on something I've given them, which is wisdom that comes from God to help them make that major decision. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path, making it smooth. Listen, this was a rough decision. This was a hard thing. What do I do in this situation? I know we've all been there because we are limited in what we know. We're limited. By thank God he is unlimited. It's good to go with to a, a God who is unlimited, who has unlimited power, unlimited resources, unlimited strength in order to get the direction that we need for our life. And see, this is what you need to understand. What why would we trust God like we do? Because he knows, he we know because we trust him that he has the power. When he directs us, he's got the power for it to come to pass. See. He's got the ability, he got the, he has the wisdom, he has the strength and the resources for it to come to pass. So whatever God tells you to do, he is going to, he's got the power for it to come to pass. See, man can be hindered. See, and, and they can do it, they can be in a good place. They want to do it for a good reason. But they can be hindered due to whatever, it could be a uh, natural circumstance, it could be something personal going on, just a number of different reasons because man is limited. So when you put your trust in man, yeah, you're going to be limited. You're going to be limited in some of the things that you do. But putting your trust in God, he is unlimited. He can cause it to come to pass in your life. That's why God gives us instruction. He gives us direction. He gives us discipline. And we know that God that good direction will help us to overcome some of the complicated areas in our life. God's, God's instructions help us to correct areas in our life, in us and around us. His instructions to help, to help develop, develop discipline we need in order for God to direct our life. God gives us insight and strength and power to obey his will for our lives. Remember, when we trust the Lord wholeheartedly, he will give us direction for our lives. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that, that's, it's wonderful to me. So again, when we talk about wisdom, let's define wisdom in my last few minutes here. To behave wisely, to be skillful and intelligent, to, to have insight and understanding, to be prudent and prosperous, to comprehend to teach and to be teachable, to consider a matter. Again, let me read that to you one more time. When we define wisdom, what has God given us in order for us to help direct our lives and help us in our everyday life? He's given us, helping us to be wiser, more skillful and intelligent, to have insight and understanding, to be prudent and prosperous, to comprehend matters, to teach and be teachable, to consider what is the what, what is the matter in the situation. 
See, that makes our path smoother. That makes it more straighter. We can better understand what God is bringing and doing in our lives. Listen, the situation may not change, but our understanding of the situation changes. The circumstance may not change, but our understanding of the circumstance change. And when you have, you operate in knowledge and understanding, it's going to help you be, be victorious. It's going to help you to be a conqueror. It's going to help you to be an overcomer. Woo, glory be to God. I'm sorry, I got excited about that one. Let me read this to you in my closing. The Holy Spirit will guide us to the place the Lord has given his instructions. And it's beneficial to us daily. Let me tell you something. I, I truly believe that God would do this for us daily. I truly believe that God would do this for us daily if we allow him. As we see in the message today and, and understand that when we acknowledge God in all our ways, one thing's going to help us in the way we think, the way we talk, and the way we act to be more in line with his word. That in turn will help us and give us wisdom for our life because we won't see things. We won't be leaning on our own, own understanding. We're going to, all our ways, we're going to acknowledge him because we trust his pathway. We trust his ways and he shall direct our path. And when we do that, we can see our life getting better. Whether it's in our relationships, financial matters, career choices, decision making, family matters, hey, even in the church, and most importantly, our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, and he will give you wisdom for your life. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, there are many thousands and thousands of believers that are listening to this message today, and they are like me. We are learning and we are depending upon when we trust you wholeheartedly, you're going to give us wisdom for our lives. We need that wisdom, God. We can't listen, we can't live without it. We can't we can't make decisions without it. We can't rely on our own understanding because we're limited. But Father, we know you are unlimited. You got unlimited resources, unlimited power, and you can help us in our everyday life. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to share your word with these precious believers, these anointed believers, these believers who are blessed, highly favored, and prosperous, and they're walking in that. Thank you for healing somebody that's watching or listening. Thank you for delivering somebody who's listening or watching. And thank you for prospering these individuals who, who are walking by faith and not by sight. Put in their trust and confidence in their assurance in Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We love you, Jesus. We can't live without you. Can't do it without you, Jesus. That's We need you. 24 hours a day and seven days a week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to wherever you are to share the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and the announcer is going to give you some information on how you can send in your prayer request. And thank you to those who have shared your prayer request. We've been praying for you. Pray that God, will, his will will be done in your life. If you'd like to sow into this ministry, this is good ground. And I believe truly, as we trust the Lord and our giving, hey, we're going to see some great things happening in our lives. Great things happening financially. Making paths straight, making paths smooth when it comes to our finances. And some of us definitely need that. God bless each and every one of you. And remember, without a vision, the people perish. We'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to the Overcomers Christian Center website where you can find us located at OCCBR.org and we are under the direction of Pastor Richard E. Dobbs and First Lady Cassandra J. Dobbs and here at OCC our vision is empowering and equipping our world. To the right of the website you will find our social media pages and if you click on the media page you will find our weekly YouTube videos where you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel, as well as our weekly podcast that you can access by clicking this link right here. 
If you like to donate or give to the ministry, you may do so by mail, or if you like to donate online, you have two options. The first option is by clicking on the donate this donate button, which will lead you to the paypal.com website, or you may use the giving app. You can access the giving app by either texting give to the phone number and following the directions, or you can download the giving app via Apple Store or Google Play. Thank you so much to your giving and your donations as it helps us to give to the ministry, give to the community, and share the gospel. If you'd like to send a prayer request, you may do so by filling the following information here to your right. And if you would like to visit our church, our weekly services are Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. And you may access the, the address and telephone number right here under the contact section. Thank you so much on behalf of Pastor and First Lady Dobbs. Be blessed.